I don't think there's anything back in the cell, so with this new guy in my inventory. It's He's just a kid. That's illegal, immoral, and <laughs> just too darn funny to think about. Come on, do it. He's just a... Oh well. Let's see what we can do with this kid and the other prostitute. If anything. He wouldn't know what to do with all that flesh. Hell, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Maybe the old lady likes... New carrots? Whatever. He can be a distraction, maybe? Hey! McBling! How'd you like to upgrade your indecent exposure charge to a sexual misconduct? Yeah, bruv. Anything with SEX in it has got to be good for my rep. What do I have to do? See that lady behind you? Sex pest! Sex pest! Oh yeah, now he has retained a charge. Well, well, well. It looks like this criminal. Finally got charged. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I don't know what come over me. Awesome. Can we pick it up? Hmm. Still holding the charge. Great. <laughs> Zip it. It's good. Pitch and grabbing loon. Lady Leering Jerry File. <laughs> Let's charge the car now. Hey, Twitchy! Wanna learn how to boost a car? <laughs> that should have her running. Definitely a her. Only a female can make my life this miserable. Soldier crime doesn't pay, kid. Except maybe armed robbery, if you're quick. Alright. See ya, Tossers. Fast and furious. Provazio Vlasna Ferme. Keeping Hector, that terrorist fellow is growing exceedingly restless. I've never met a chap so hell bent on causing such a fracker. Oh, cracking shot, though. We really could use someone like him on the force. We've made it. Goodness, you're here, boss. Let me bring you up to speed. Lambert. I'm guessing that guy's name's Lambert. It's a guy that respects him, so... Time's over, blood clot. Crawl back into your own so I can go back to bed. Give me one reason not to add you to the pile. <laughs> no idea what that means, but... Because I've still never been to Wolverhampton. What kind of a reason is that? Said one reason didn't say that to be a good one. True. I've got better things to do than talk to you. What could possibly be more important than the future of your beloved town? Beloved. To 
Twitter. Yes. Tasha, you're on Twitter. I'd have been impressed to find you could work a toaster. I was just trying to sum up what I think of you in less than 140 characters. Funny, I can sum you up in about four letters. Look, we can do this the easy way, the hard way, or the very easy way. I've got a better idea, fool. Let's do this my way. Damn it, that's the hard way. Alright. Let's, uh... Good day, sir. My name is Detective Inspector Inter, and I will be your negotiator. Finally, polite, respectful, good sentence structure. The voice of a man who can get things done. Yeah, sorry, I I really cannot think of what to add in between these lines. Look, I'm you myself. You. You've got to talk to somebody. Why should it be you? As you take a look around, everyone else have legs shorter than their arms. I suppose you're right, and you seem to be the one who wears the trousers around here. Let's see what he wants. What do you want? Ah, oh, the first intelligent question you've asked all day. I assure you it was entirely out of self-interest. I have a list of demands, of course. Mm. Should I get a pen? My first demand is as follows. I still need a pen. The spine and heartbeat of a decent, hard-working town is its clock tower. Punctuality drives efficiency. Efficiency drives ambition. And ambition drives pride. Get the town clock ticking again, shining above its citizens as a steadfast reminder of industry and social order. I don't know anything about clocks. My second demand, pornography. Oh, hold on, I think I've got some in my car. Pornography is eroding the moral fibre of society. Its omnipresence pervades our televisions, our computers, our mobile phones. We're saturated by it. An example must be made. I want the hub of the Clappers Creek porn industry shut down. You tell me. Yes, the Exotico. You monster! Damn you to hell! My third demand. Besides myself, I can think of only one man trying to do good for this community. Oh, stop please. You're embarrassing me. There's a dedicated and optimistic fellow running an independent information booth in front of Cottage Park. He has repeatedly taken a brilliant beautification plan to town council for funding and has been repeatedly denied. Aww. Speak to the man, find out what he needs, then get it for him. Ah, oh, there's me pen. What were you saying? Those are my demands. Come back when you've completed them. I have nothing more to say. Well, I've got something to say to you, but pube. Hello? Alright then. So we have our three things to well, do. Well, that went better than I thought it would. Still breathing anyway. So where am I supposed to be going again? Oh, a map. That should help. So, we have to fix the clock tower, get rid of the, some porn stuff and help a guy with his beauty plan or beautification plan or whatever let's see this is max the guy the chief 
Jarvis. Yeah, Lambert. How's my tea, Lambert? That's Lambert. My thick as a plank standard is you, partner. My tea. Lambert. How's that tea coming along? I have two top men working on it as we speak. Mm -hmm. While you're at it, get me a sandwich. What kind? Well, you know how allergic I am to anything without meat in it. <laughs> I like this guy. I like this guy. Do you know anything about this turd nugget? I've been compiling notes towards building a complete character profile of the suspect. Mm. This should be good. I really think I'm close to a breakthrough. Description? 16 to 84 years old, first language English, likely male, though possibly female. Oh, that narrows it. So, it could be anyone except your gran. We haven't ruled her out. Alright. History? All signs say the perpetrators are local, though might be from overseas, and chances are good he was once a child. Oh, really? Lambert, if you were twice as smart, you'd still be an idiot. <laughs> Anything to gain an advantage. He's very good with a sniper rifle. I mean our advantage, you spaz. Oh, uh, nothing then. Alright, keep up the good work. Keep up the work. Will do, boss. Pop back later, I may have a few more insights. Maybe my tea oh, too. More insights? I'll be sure to stop by. That's Chief Superintendent Meeks. Grade A ball grinder and all around nice chap. Why the hell am I here? Ah, Hector. I do hope you don't mind being pulled off your current case. No I? worries. I polished off the last bottle of my current case last night, in fact. Jolly good, then. Dealing with people isn't really my thing. I know this isn't your usual cup of tea, but the situation called for your particular brand of problem-solving. Besides, all the other hostage negotiators are uh, dead. So, whose brainwave was it to stick me in the line of fire? Jarvis's notion, actually. Seem to think that you were the perfect fellow to take the reins. Yeah. Jarvis, was it? I don't see a flaw. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Adamant he was. Thought you would be ideal. Have to say, I agree. Your people skills are top notch. Yes, yes indeed. Does the vile beast have any weaknesses I can exploit? I'm afraid we don't know a whole lot, what with him locked down inside that building. I was talking about Jarvis. <laughs> oh, you too. You too, man. Okay, what's, what's the status on the situation? It seems some unsavory scoundrel has held himself up in that building with a day. Oh, damn it. Right clicked. That yeah, bypasses the conversation. I'm going back to bed. Worked another all nighter at the station, Hector? Totally. Yeah, could say that. Your dedication to the cause is inspiring. But nonetheless, I need this siege resolved forthwith. Forthwith, huh. Okay, uh, any progress? Have we made any progress? So far, we've come up short. Nobody's lived long enough to get any information out of him. Can we demolish the building? Can we demolish the building? Good God, man, there are civilians in there. So? And your point was, that's what he said. Um, the twat team. What about sending in the twat team? I'm hesitant. They're a bit too gun-happy for my liking. Isn't that the point? Hector, do I need to remind you what further civilian deaths from police negligence will do to my chances of a knighthood? Knighthood? I'm not sure exactly what that is. Snipers. What well, about the snipers? Any visuals? Not a sausage. Ah, oh, you're just giving me a great idea. I could really go for a sausage supper. Hmm, me too, actually. Can't we just throw some money at this worm fart? Worm fart? You're referring to our we negotiate with terrorists policy. We usually drop track quicker than a sailor on leave in these situations. Well, you know, normally I'd jump at the chance to hand over a large sum to make this all go away, but the budget's a little pinched at the moment. 
I thought we had some sort of terrorism slush fund. Oh, uh, yes, about that. Hmm. I'm afraid the slush fund was eaten into slightly by last year's policeman's bauble. Oh. That's what's Sweet. Happened. Jeremy tap dancing Christ. A jar of pocket change? Those chocolate fountains don't come cheap. Well, what am I meant to do with this? Tempt him down to the Palladium for a few goes on the Tapney Nudges? I'm sure you'll use it to the best of your ability. There's a good chap. Yeah, I'm missing a lot of these jokes, I bet. I'm not British, as you probably can tell. Alright, so we talked to Max. Let's talk with Jarvis now. Jarvis. Oh, so it was you who recommended me for hostage negotiations, was it? I could think of no one better than you, Hector, to enter the killing zone and attempt to pacify a gun-wielding psycho. Yeah. Remind me to thank you properly later. Probably the bottle of scotch, empty bottle of scotch in my hand. A helicopter. When did we get a helicopter? If I'd known the police service had a helicopter, I would have abused it more. <laughs> I'm sure you would. That's the way to the hostage building. Alright. Travis Max Lambert. Let's check the map. Hostage crisis, clock tower, park, porn shop. Uh, shall we go in uh, alphabetical order? So the clock tower first. outside of me head. That's a nice beat. Ooh, dirty eagle. This is almost worse than having to touch that paper clip. Remind me not to put my hand in my pocket. How are you gonna get it out then? Look at the door. That is one tiny door. I guess. Buster McCuster? Might be lucrative if he had any real talent. Alright, let's talk to him. And here's me thinking Britain had talent. Ah, <sighs> nice. Mm, let's start with the first. May I borrow your drumstick a moment? Fancy a goal? No, I'm gonna shove it into my ear for some sweet relief. Ever thought of taking up the triangle? I took lessons for a while. Too demanding. Uh-huh. Your drum's out of tune. I thought it sounded a bit off. Oh well, it'll work itself out. I thought I knew what talent this was until now. Aye. I'll pay you to never drum again. You want me to play you the drum again? Cool up, Lula. No, 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 no. Good. What have I done? No, 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 stop Here's it. Here's me thinking. Right. Got a joke for you. What do you call a guy who hangs out with musicians? A hey, drummer. Ha ha. Heard that one. No. Retarded. <laughs> oh. Okay. How much money does he make? You make much money doing this. I'm saving up for knee symbols. Why don't you toss me a penny? Why don't I toss you in the river instead? Um... Hey! You should audition for Y Factor. Y Factor? Did I say Y Factor? I meant Y Bother. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, You're not a very joke. nice man. Yeah. He isn't. Mm, okay. Move Bye. along, scum. Enjoy your day, chum. My ears are numb. Rum pa pum pum. Yeah. Let's get the door. Locked, as yeah. you guessed. Can Imagine we... what I could get for this at the needle exchange. I really cannot. Let's see if we can give him some money. Any requests? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see this. You know, don't stop believing. No. I do indeed. That's... Adrian, don't stop believing. Any requests? Yeah. You know I have the tiger? Absolutely. Figured. Any requests? 
Get out of my dreams, get into my car. Do you know, uh, get out of my dreams, get into my car? I don't accept lifts from strangers. You should. Okay, oh. Any requests? Please stop. Oh, please stop. Ah, gotta earn a living. Oh, he stopped. Yeah. Okay. Might be lucrative. Can I take his change? What? No. He's talking again. Um. May I borrow your drumstick a moment? Fancy a goal? No, I'm. No. Rocker. Um. <laughs> what? No. Drums are too. I thought it sounded. I thought I knew. Oh. You want me to play you? Oh. Okay. So, this clock tower. Can I move you over here? Good. Look at town. That leads to the bad part of town. What am I saying? The old town is the bad part. Let's eradicate the town then. Nope. Mm, still not changed, huh? Imagine what. Nope. Uh, can nah. I use this with this? Damn, I'm good. Oh, good. That is one tiny door. Open it. Great. Oh, he could fit through. Mm, bigger on the inside. Well, let's get Heard to it. One before. My god, there's a squatter in here. Eh? Barkles at the gate? You'll never take me alive, you damn dirty barkles! Oh, who am I kidding? I'm basically dead anyway. VCR. The clocksmith. Cupboard. Anything else we can interact with? Distillery. Oh, yeah. Heavy duty illegal homemade liquor. I like your style. Mm -hmm. That moonshine distillery helps me forget all the misery and suffering I've witnessed. Well, I can only imagine the horrors you saw in conflict. I was talking about this damn video. Every two. Okay, okay, okay. I was talking. Okay. Uh, can I get my mouse back? Please, thank you. Can I double click it? Here's to erasing our memories by the means of fermented liquid. Hold it there, young book. That stuff will erase more than your memory. Sounds perfect. I'm talking about your stomach and probably all the tubes along the way. Take a gander. Aww. Oh, I'll be buggered. That man replaced in war. Solid iron. Damn. Always like that table. Oh. Just don't get any on your hands. I lost two fingers just this morning. Oh yeah. I was about to check that table, but I guess not anymore. Let's check the cupboard instead then. Rule number one. Never touch a crazy man's junk. <laughs> At least, not while he's around. Alright. Let's talk to him. I need your help. I'll need your help to fix this clock. You need my help. Yep. You need my help. Oh, really, Rosie? I spent the better part of my life serving queen and country, and the worst part in bowels of this damn clock. Nothing but the rats, this training video, and me triple distilled jelly night to keep me company. And the body comes to do her. Town Council, Preservation Society, punk kids in their wheelie boards. Now, you, they don't want to know nothing except how to fix the flipping clock. Well, bugger her, are you? Can't argue with a double barrel shotgun. No, not really. There's the door. I don't want to exit this door. Let's look at the TV. What if I turn this off? It's giving me a work related head injury. Or I could just stand over here. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the VCR. Imagine being locked in here for decades with only that video to watch. It's like torture. I was in a POW camp for three years. This is worse. Alright. Poor you. He looks older than time itself. What are you watching there? Looks a bit tedious. 
The mate time for safety workplace health and safety guide for clock keepers. Pull up a chair. You don't have another chair. Pipe down. Good bits coming up. Woman accidentally walks through shot. Mm. You must get bored arseless locked up in here all day. Yeah. I came back from the war with a lot of hate, I did. I can't go outside or the hate comes out in all sorts of ways. In another life, we could have been best friends. In another life. Did we just drive past an oil refinery? Oh, that'll be me homemade brewery. I put a brew on about an hour ago. Nearly ready. Alright, any wartime stories? Any good war stories, old timer? Ah, you don't want to hear an old man jabber on about war. Okay, fine. It was done. Air dropped into the thick of it, strapped to this very chair. Me and oh, the really? unit were cut off. Cornered. Three borkos approaching. Had to smear ourselves with our own feces to avoid detection. Unkered down in a ditch. Turns out to be two sisters carrying their gerbil to let. <laughs> Let mince meat out of them. Happy times. Oh, happy times indeed. Let's see. Uh... Innocent human lives are depending on this clock. Pa! None of them ever took the time to talk to me, did they? I am. Screw them! Alright. Pull yourself together, man. I need you to get this clank pile up and run in. What? Eh? Corporal Flaxer? Elite mission? Borkos, classified, port bow, charge, retreat! Oh, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Oh, yeah. Just fix the clock. Just fix the clock, old man. Bog off, beatnik. Alright, any. No. As you were. As you were. Oh, tell me another one. Tell me another war story. It was early morning. February. The Big Freeze, we called it. No time for imagination back then. Mm -hmm. Ship had been stuck in the ice for three weeks. Cold. Damn cold. So cold I wasn't able to keep me bearings. I have metallic ones now. Right bugger going through airport security, I'll bet. You wouldn't believe. Alright. No. Tell me more. Tell me more about the war. Dawn. North Atlantic. We were deep behind enemy lines. What Just lines? spotted a large shoal of cod off the starboard bow. And then out of nowhere, an Icelandic trawler appeared. It were bearing down on us. No hope of avoiding them. Had to engage. Oh, I still get flashbacks. Night times to worst. I can still taste the salted snacks that they offered us during heated negotiations. What war was you in, anyway? You what? All of them, bucko. Uh, any more? Any more war stories? It were night. I remember that much. That's it? Best <laughs> story ever. <laughs> what happened right. to your legs? Official secrets that prevents me from giving any details. Any more yawns? What are you? A Borko spy? I guess not. So, after the war, how'd you end up here, in this clock? Well, tanks, clocks, they're all the same on the inside, really. I guess so. Let's see what's wrong with it. What's wrong with this clock? Thirty years ago, lightning struck that tower, and it hasn't run since. Oh, classic. Are you in here when it happened? Yep. Fried me cable. Thank God for this VCR. Oh, damn it. Have you tried fixing it? Clappers Leak Preservation Society always banging on at me to fix it. I told him, you try taking a net cutter to the chest, then see if you feel like fixing the clock. A net cutter to the chest. Uh -huh. So, now that we're chumps, what would it take mean. to get this clock working again? When the lightning hit, it blew the minute hand and the X clear off. The minute hand and the X cleared off. 
the fuck? Oh, the ten. What do you need to fix the minute hand? A new one. I mean, what's it need to look like? Any bit of metal about six foot long should do it. Bit of ornamentation uh, never hurt uh, either. I mean, two meters. All right. Wait. What, what do you say? need to fix a new one? Oh, any bit of metal about six foot long should do it. Bit of ornamentation never hurt either. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Maybe you can find that. <laughs> Tell me more about this X. You know, the bit of clock between the one X and the X one. Oh, the Roman numeral ten, you mean? No, the flipping X. Who's the clock expert here? I guess you. That's it. But those are just superficial. I'm a man of pride. Won't start up until she's polished to a right high shine. Mm -hmm. Sure sounds like it. Let's see it. But those are just superficial. I'm a man of pride. All right. Won't start. I already asked him that. Why don't I see what I can do? You go find me some parts, and then maybe we'll talk. Maybe. Um... I guess not. Still didn't say you could go upstairs. Sure. That's... All of a sudden, I'm not so thirsty. I uh, can't imagine why. Can we start it in here? Nah, you're just being... I guess not. Okay, then. Let's get out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Any requests? Yeah, shut up. Oh, wait. Baby got back. You know, baby, I'm playing it right now. Yeah, sure. sure. Any requests? Do you know to come on at you? Okay. Darn it. Any requests? Sure. You know, I'm bad. I'm bad. You know it. You know. I know. Any requests? Land of hope and glory. Talentless <laughs> moron. <laughs> Do you know you're a talentless moron? The Michael Bublé or the Will Young version? Either. Sure. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, uh, any ornamented poles or whatever the fuck. Doesn't look like it. Okay, this guy is starting to piss me off. Let's look at the park. 